Claudia, how are you? I'm all right, just a little bit of a cold, so my voice is not as usual. Oh, shame. Yeah, I know you said on our support group you have been feeling not great. Are you feeling a little bit better? Yeah, it changes every day what hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shame. But I'm very happy to be here. Yeah, Thank it's you. lovely having you. Thank you so much and for your commitment to be here, even though your voice is a little bit not its normal self. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So, Claudia, um, you are the dancing queen of the group. That's in my eyes, yeah, you are a dancing queen. And for the viewers, if you go and watch Claudia from her podcast, Sunbird Crochet, you will know what I mean. There's a video in the history that is like totally my favorite. <laughs> and, totally uh, shameful. <laughs> no, please don't be. Um, but yeah, your, your fun that you bring to the table is just so amazing. And um, Yet again this year, I know this is your second year doing the mystery net along. And um, so talk about your yarns and how you've experienced the process. You've been on a journey. So talk about that. Tell us your journey. Yes, I found this year's twists and turns, Amkel, I found it harder than last year's, I must say. I don't know what it was, maybe Maybe it also had to do something with uh, lockdown and I last year I had more time for knitting, but this year I felt really rushed and I wanted to, I don't like falling behind. So what I did was, can I show it? Yes, please show it. <laughs> so I was working very slowly through the middle part and um, I finished it because of all your lovely support and then I already did the first twist and turn by changing the crochet <laughs> <clears throat> for the wings, which I then changed again back to the original pattern. Okay. So this is, I finished clue one and clue two as, as we were expected to do. And I didn't do clue three and four because I finished my shawl off with crochet after all. Oh, wow. I really enjoy my colors. They come out a little bit more gray, but they are actually quite vibrant. This is aubergine and this is a bright orange. I'm sorry, my colors are never true to nature, <laughs> but um, I think there will be another video where we will see Yay. the colors hint, much better. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, I did enjoy learning how to do short rows. I very much enjoy the look of twisted ribbing. And um, I struggled with having three pairs of circular needles attached to my shawl. That's just at one stage, one of them came loose and it was just dangling around. And I was like, no, no, I can't go. I don't know how to repair this. I don't know how to pick it up. But um, it was fine. The stitches were on, still on the needle. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and for the first time, um, I've made the, the cabling section. That was actually my goal to do the cabling first time in my life. Mm. And um, even though they are not my favorite thing to do, um, I really like the look of them. So I think it's just a matter of becoming better at knitting. Okay. Um, yeah, and I think my shawl is quite big, <laughs> even without sections three and four. And so I've added a little crochet border down there. Oh, wow. I've, I show you the ugly side. I've attached my yarn to the back of the... Oh, yes. Okay. I see. Okay. So I could work into that. Oh, wow. Without ruining the front look. Oh, right. All right. That's and great. that's the ribbing here. I first... It's like showing something in the mirror. Um, <laughs> I increased here and in the middle, and then I decreased again the stitches. Okay. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's fine. And I also had, um, attached the loops here from section one so that they won't get 
Blue. lost and unglue yeah. themselves and braid themselves. Yeah, so um, I'm really happy with the result of the shawl. I like it like this. Um, I think it's a little bit more practical to wear for me, like as an everyday shawl. Maybe less spectacular than the original version, but um, I just like it. My yarn is from Pink Queen Yarns, who is, I think she's one of the official dyers for Stephen West. She oh, wow. definitely was. And she's here in Germany, so I was able to get a nice kit. I didn't have to think about too much, although, no, that's a lie. I thought about the colors a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and I first put together a set of colors out of my stash. And but when I saw these colors, I said to myself, no, get that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I, lo um, I love your shawl, Claudia. And you know what? I love that in the end you have made um, you know, a what do they call it? Like a combination of knitting and crochet because crochet is your first love and I mean with you being such amazing crochet crocheter taking knitting sweaters especially color work and transform it into crochet patterns um you know I think it's just the right thing to do for you to do your touch of crochet and even though this shawl is not exactly as per the pattern, it's what you like and it's what you, what you will love and that you will be able to wear and enjoy. And I think that is just wonderful to do that. Thank you. Yeah. I certainly learned a lot. I'm not a good knitter, so I've learned. I now know a lot more than I did before I started. So that's, that's goal reached for me. <laughs> and I do have a shawl which I will wear. Definitely. Oh, that's awesome. Will you participate next year again? Um, maybe I will wait a little and see how it looks like. Okay. Maybe I will join at a later stage, not right away. Mm -hmm. Although that's said now, probably next year I will be right here <laughs> at the start. <laughs> yeah, it always changed, that's right? <laughs> You know, the best was actually the community and your your group here and all the support and meeting new people and having fun together. Yeah, I have to say that was a big part of the whole experience, right? Is is the support and the cheering on. And even though you make changes that, you know, that is not frowned upon and it's, you know, it's it's I think it's just lovely. So it was lovely having you part of the group. I enjoyed it very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Claudia. <laughs>